Hey there guys, welcome to our channel. So this year Garmin has launched plenty of smartwatches already. But it isn't over yet. There are still some smartwatches in the pipeline. One among them is the Venu SQ2 which could be the next Garmin watch. Gadgets and Wearables has spotted FCC listing for two filings which is believed to be for Garmin Venu SQ2. They are actually for two devices that go by similar monikers IPH-04390 and IPH-A4390. Seeing as they are nearly identical, they are probably referring to two different iterations of the same device. You guessed it, music and non-music because one has support for Wi-Fi and the other one doesn't. So there could be $50 price gap between the two. Other than that, there is actually nothing much to share. Most of the FCC paperwork is kept concealed as there is a confidentiality clause which will not run out for a few more months. Now speaking about the original Venu SQ, it was released in September 2020 for a price tag of $200, but it regularly drops below that price point, sweetening the deal. For that price, it offered the same Garmin Elevate optical heart rate sensor, GPS and all the sensors as the original Venu except for barometric altimeter and gyroscope. Also it was a step down in the build quality and the display. So there's definitely room for improvement and we hope to see at least some of them taken care of. One could reasonably expect a slightly larger, more high-res display on Garmin Venu SQ2. Other design improvements may revolve around the two physical button configuration. The company will probably throw in the Gen 4 Elevate heart rate sensor and perhaps a barometric altimeter. The Venu SQ does not have a barometric altimeter or a gyroscope as I said before. This makes elevation data more of an estimate than an actual tracked metric. Well that is it for now. Until more information appears, do one thing, subscribe. That's it. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.